Hello, I'm Dave Nearpass. I'm one of the pastors here at Emmanuel Church. So glad you could join me today. We're going to be looking at our very last parable together of Jesus. So I want you to, in all seriousness, give yourselves a pat on the back. You made it to the last week. Here we are this week in Luke 18, uh, verses 9 through 14. And we're going to look at this amazing parable of Jesus. I want to read it for us together as we get started today. Luke 18, verses 9 through 14. To some who are confident of their own righteousness and look down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God, for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So that parable we just read is an incredible parable. And what I love about this parable is at the very beginning of it, Jesus lets us know exactly what the parable is about. He says it's for people who are confident of their own righteousness and look down on everyone. If that happens to be you, this parable is for you. It's a parable you've been waiting for. But in all seriousness, Jesus is reminding every one of us of something in this parable. He's letting us know that no one is good enough by themselves to have a relationship with God. No one should rely on their own good deeds to be good enough to have a relationship with God. None of us should be banking on what we've done in the past to think, I am good enough, I am in good standing with the holy God. Jesus is telling all of us that our deeds are not good enough, that all of us need to rely on the mercy of God to have the relationship. All of us need to be humble before God. No matter how long you've known Jesus, if you're good at following him, or if you're not, all of us, are humble people that know we rely on the mercy of God to have a relationship with him. And then Jesus says, no matter where you are at in your walk with Christ, we all rely on God's mercy. Every single person. Whether you've known God for 50 years and you're super religious and you're righteous and everyone thinks the world of you, or if you've been a Christian for 50 minutes and you've rebelled against God the majority of your life. We all rely on the mercy of God. We all rely on a God who loves us unconditionally, who loved us before we even knew him, a God who freely forgives us in Jesus Christ. We all rely on the mercy of God in order to have a relationship. And if we stop for a second, think about it. That's what we all really want when we meet other people. We want people who are humble, who acknowledge that they need God, that they need a Savior, that they need forgiveness. This is a parable that reminds us all of us are on the same level. Whether you're a brand new Christian, whether you're not even sure what you believe about Jesus yet, whether you've grown up in the church and you're a saint, we're all on the same level. Every one of us is completely dependent on the mercy of God. And all of us are to walk humbly before God, acknowledging we need Him. That's the call to every single one of us in our Emmanuel Church community. Can we be a church where every person we see, we think they are just as important as us? We're not above everyone else, but we walk around with humility and everyone is our equal.